Hey, how's everybody doing? This is a video on my dry ager setup. This was uh, done by request of somebody that asked, and it was a good idea, just in case anybody else wants to set one up. And uh, sorry about the wind. If you guys can hear that, it's a really windy day today. But anyways, um, I got this idea from Derek Nance, his YouTube channel, Derek. And this is how I got mine set up. So this is a uh, freezer, stand-up freezer. You can set this up a few different ways, but uh, it seems like the freezers, stand-up freezers work the best because a lot of times they're uh, gutted out on the inside. And so there's a lot of room for hanging and stuff like that. So this is how I got mine set up right now. It's just a stand-up freezer hooked up to a temperature regulator. Right now it's at 35.6. It just shut off. It was just running because I have this set between basically 34 and 38 degrees. So uh, when it gets above 38, the freezer turns on and then it cools it then it goes back down to as you can see about 35 and a half and I kind of uh, tweak with the settings every once in a while because uh, as it gets warmer it seems like the freezer gets a little warmer so anyways uh, I don't know if that makes any sense but basically like um, the freezer cools it very rapidly so if I set the temperature at like 37 to turn on basically the freezer could cool it so rapidly that it gets too cold and it gets down to like 32 and a half or 33 degrees and I don't want to go that cold I want to keep it around 34 between 34 and 38 so I have it set at 38 and the cooling process of the freezer cools it just enough to it goes down to about 35 or something like that so anyways right now it's shut off I'll show you guys how it works here what it looks like on the inside so this is what I got on the inside here and it'll turn on in just a second here as the temperature warms up this is where I got my thermometer dangled it's plugged into my temperature regulator and the thermometer is dangled right here and uh, so the freezer is plugged into the temperature regulator, the temperature regulator is plugged into the wall. So right now as you can see it turned on, the lights on, now the freezer is working because as you can see it's at 42 degrees, right? Because I got the door open. This is all I got to set up here. I bought these uh, hooks I got these online. These are like meat hooks. I got some grass fed meat that I got from my local farmer hooked up on here. This is everything that I basically couldn't fit fresh into my fridge. This is a, a lamb leg that I'm experimenting with. I'm trying to see how long I can dry age for, so I'm just leaving this in here. But here's some like ribs that seem to be aging pretty well, just sitting like that. I flip them over every once in a while. Here's just kind of like a piece of like chuck roast or something. Just aging on the rack. These are uh, these are all like chuck roasts and stuff like that. So just flip her over. Here's some more ribs. Uh, these have been in here for a few days. They seem to be doing quite well. I have uh, some trays down here to catch some of the moisture and I like to dump these out when I can to keep moisture to try to wick the moisture away and there's a little drain at the bottom here that drains the water out but anyways this is how it's set up and I got a Himalayan salt block in here this is supposed to help wick some moisture away as well and as you can see 
there's like a pool of water underneath this thing. So this is attracting water uh, from the meat and from the air. We got a humidor in here. Just a very basic one, but it's usually right between 70 and 80, which seems to be working out great. If you can get it lower than that, great. I've seen people aging from anywhere from 50 to 90 on the humidity. So, um, but I've had pretty good luck right around 70 to 80 so far. No problems. And then of course I got my little fan here for air exchange. This is always running and it's just uh, set on like medium and it's just pumping air throughout the dry ager. But this is it, it's just basically a stand up freezer. A uh, Whirlpool freezer. And I was hoping when I got this actually from my boss, I was sitting in our shop in the corner. I was hoping these racks came out, but unfortunately they don't come out at all because these racks are part of the cooling system, as you can see. This is where the coolant goes through, or the Freon or whatever it's whatever they use to cool these things. So you can't pull these racks out and they're actually connected. This rack that's connected to this rack goes up and down like a system. So can't remove the racks, so I had to kind of make do. I can't hang any uh, large animals in here, but I'll be able to hang uh, these big cuts pretty easily. I figured out how to do it with these hooks. You just kind of stretch the hooks out and you just hang the meat. So, But yeah, this is how I got this set up. Um, it's really useful when I buy like a beef quarter and I get about 70 to 80 pounds of meat at a time for just one person. It's a lot of food. so. What I did is I put about 45 pounds in my fridge, vacuum sealed, in plastic unfortunately, but that's how it comes from the uh, butcher. And then uh, I threw most of it in here. And then I had to throw a couple bags in my freezer because it was all trim and I can't hang the trim because it's like scraps. But the majority of my uh, 70 pounds I got is either fresh or dry aged, which is how I want it. And only about 10 pounds of it I had to freeze. So that's the idea, is to keep all your meat fresh. And uh, like Derek Nance said in one of his videos, uh, it's interesting because you get kind of the full spectrum of the meat when you eat it fresh, like the day after the kill. And then you eat it uh, also dry aged, and then you also eat it fermented. So you can eat all the different stages of bacteria. But yeah, so this is, uh, this is my setup. It's really simple. This is definitely a work in progress. I'm going to continue to uh, adapt and evolve this thing. I've only had it going for about a, a month now, but it seems to be working out really well. Uh, I had some dry aged lamb. Uh, it's been in there. This lamb has been in here, right here, for about a month or something like that. And as you can see, it looks uh, looks really nice. So I'm hoping to be able to dry age for up to a couple, two, three months at a time. So. There you go, if anybody wants to try it at home, it's a simple setup. You can use either an old refrigerator, freezer, whatever you got, and then hook it up to a temperature regulator, which are found online, really cheap to buy. And it just uh, switches off the freezer when it gets above a certain point. Uh, I mean, it turns on the freezer when it gets above a certain point. And then when it gets uh, below a certain temperature, it'll turn off the freezer. So it just keeps it between a basic temperature for you. So there you go. All right, everybody. Talk to you later.